Good day! Welcome to Principles of Communications 1. Today, we will talk about serial sideband systems in communications. This chapter covers SSB systems and signals from its definition to transmission methods. In the first module, we will talk about what is a single sideband signal. Next, we will identify the main advantages and disadvantages of single sideband signals in comparison to amplitude modulated signals. We will also examine the peak envelope power and the percentage power saving of single sideband signals. Next, we will also be analyzing the different types of single sideband signals and how they differ along with the corresponding power, power spectrum. And last week, we will also be discussing single sideband generation techniques. The second part of this module is radio receiver. First, what are the radio receivers? We will learn the function of receivers as well as the important parameters to consider in making one. Second, types of radio receivers. In this subtopic, we are going to discuss about various types of receivers, their corresponding block diagrams, their advantages, disadvantages, and application. Third, section of heterodyne receiver. Superheterodyne receiver is a specific type of radio receiver. We will be learning about how it works, its advantages, disadvantages, and application. Fourth, single sideband receivers. Again, this is another type of radio receiver, which, as the name implies, is aimed at receiving single sideband signals. Last is practice problems. This covers practice problems regarding radio receivers, its parameters, and everything else that this module covers. Thank you.